Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and today I got another exciting episode for you with the hydroponic pepper plant. This is a, a sweet paprika pepper and it's been growing for quite some time now. Some of you may remember we planted this thing from seed together and we planted it on March 19th and it's gotten quite large and the peppers have begun to get nice and big for me and pretty it's getting so compact I have so many peppers growing all over this thing as I spin this plant around you begin to see all the beautiful peppers everywhere and as well as on the inside of the stem look at the main branch right there all the side side growth that's happening let's zoom in a tiny bit look at all these beautiful tiny little flowers forming but up top is really where all the magic is happening and I mean look look at this thing it's so compact there's so many flowers and tiny peppers just forming and growing everywhere I'm not even sure how many peppers I'm gonna harvest off this one plant but it's definitely gonna be the, mo the most peppers I've ever grown on off of one plant I by far I, I mean I'm very impressed with this plant and it's growing very compact this is nice and short it's about a foot maybe about a foot to 10 inches only right now and this is basically a dwarf pepper plant so it doesn't get too big and the peppers they will grow upwards they like to protrude going above the canopy instead of hanging over so it's pretty easy to see where your peppers are and when they're ready for picking so peppers are actually edible at any stage so you could come in and pick this right now and eat it but it the, the longer you wait the bigger the pepper like not the bigger but the more mature the pepper will get as well as the bigger really too and the flavors develop and deepen further so i'm gonna wait until it gets a little bit older before picking anything but we'll, we'll definitely be doing a, a little taste test comparison of um, of a young pepper versus a mature pepper on this plant so we'll look forward to that but in the meantime I just wanted to record the process week by week and so for anyone interested in growing this plant you know exactly what to expect and if we zoom in a tiny bit to the base of the plant look at the stem right there it's gotten quite woody if I actually bring this out a bit you could really see it there we are and it's gotten quite high it's going up basically about two inches upwards now it used to be only the bottom half right here now it's about two and if I bring this plant out a bit and let's actually zoom out and I've noticed some of the, some of the leaves have put on a little brown patch right here. I'm not exactly sure what this is exactly, so if anybody knows, give me a message down below, help help me out. But for now, it's growing quite well, and I couldn't be happier. And I noticed recently this plant has actually put on some new some new branches. This entire thing right here is all new in the past week. This has grown, and there's basically two branches there maybe a little more and each branch has its own sets of flowers and buds forming so that's even more peppers that I'm gonna have off this plant and I assume basically this one plant I'll be able to make hopefully an entire jar of paprika powder I should get probably somewhere between 20 to 30 peppers I think maybe more if I keep this plant going but I'll definitely keep it going and just right now a quick count that I did before starting the video I had somewhere around 30 peppers that were basically forming and there was a tiny pepper developing right behind it so some of them you're gonna lose not all the peppers are gonna stick around and you may lose a couple of buds but that's perfectly fine as long as you get a nice harvest at the end I can't complain and let me bring this out and let's actually take a both take a look at what the root system looks like so let's give this a nice little lift 
and let's see what's going on it looks like the nutrient solution is just about to run out and the roots are looking very good and nice and healthy and you could actually see I've noticed recently there's this tiny if you could see on the roots it almost looks like a tiny bit of like salt or crystal build up I'm not sure exactly what that is I've never seen that before and if anybody knows what that is maybe you could let me know down below I don't know if you could see that on the camera now hopefully you can and you guys know what I'm talking about but if not it's perfectly fine I think the plants doing nice and healthy and doing well and for now I'm gonna keep it under the lights and I've been keeping it basically one inch maybe an inch and a half at most underneath the light and it's absolutely loving the heat that it's getting from these T5 grow lights and peppers and tomatoes love love the heat and they love humidity so some plants they might not like being so close to the light especially when they're older you might burn the leaves and burn the plant so be careful with that and monitor its growth but I'm very happy with its with the progress that I have right now and I'm gonna keep it going and basically we'll be back next week and see how this plant looks but before we go let's just take a quick look to see what the biggest pepper looks like see if we could spread this canopy out a bit and it's basically right over here it's really hard to see you could see how how thick this bush is so let's actually move there we are you could actually see most of the pepper right there and there we have it so sorry for the bad angles but this plant is so bushy it's a little bit hard to do with one hand and as always don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching